So uh, three ways to implement BI Publisher, that's the focus of today. First would be the interactive or standalone using what's referred to as BI Publisher Enterprise. Next would be OneView reporting, which uh, with 9.1 became available that's really reporting right from within the JD Edwards menus. Still utilizes a, a lot of elements of, of BI Publisher Enterprise. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. And the third is the embedded. The embedded would be the traditional BI Publisher approach, typically with the Microsoft Word plugin, desktop plugin for BI Publisher, where you probably, if you're doing any BI Publisher with checks or purchase orders, W-2s, things like that, where it's a form-based report, you may have built your template, got the fields in there, and it's actually triggered from a UBE process within uh, the JD Edwards Enterprise One. Um, that still exists. We're not focusing on that at all as an organization as well as in today's presentation. We're really focusing around using BI Publisher for more financial and operational and ad hoc reporting, and that's kind of where uh, the interactive and standalone and one-view reporting come into play. So those are the two that we're going to focus on uh, for this presentation. We've kind of broken down the, uh, the layers here of a kind of a data layer, development layer, and then distribution. A lot of people, there's been a lot of, uh, of hype out there around this new OneView reporting and how it's simplifying and changing the way customers, uh, JD Edwards customers can get quick reports out of the system, and that's definitely true. Um, but, um, but people don't realize that there's a lot of those elements that are, were in the uh, BI Publisher Enterprise. Uh, it's kind of, they're, they're intertwined together very closely. So we're going to kind of show you how that, how that works. From the data perspective, the standalone and interactive, you would establish JDBC connectivity, and then you would uh, create data models built on top of that JDBC connections. Um, then based on the data models, you develop reports with a, a layout editor, which with BI Publisher and Oracle 11G, uh, they came out with a new web-based report authoring tool so historically, Bay Publisher, again, with the embedded, would, people were probably using the, um, uh, the, the Word or the desktop plugin, and now there's this web-based, and we'll show you that today. And then you're kind of in the BI Publisher Enterprise framework when you're building these reports, um, but you'll publish these reports back, and then users can go in and schedule and view and drill down on the reports themselves through that web interface. One view is a little bit different and some things the same. Where it's a little different is the whole starting point is not using this JDBC connectivity. You're actually navigating through your JD Edwards menus, getting to some inquiry screens, as well as some one view super grids if you've purchased those from Oracle. Um, but that would be becomes the source of the report that you're building. The development piece is the same. You're using the same layout editor. So if you're using BI Publisher Enterprise or Standalone Interactive, you're developing reports in the same interface that you would with OneView. Um, the deployment of those reports are, are still kind of integrated with the BI Publisher Enterprise interface, but you're only really able to, to kick off those reports and run them from within the JD Edwards menus. So you'll see as we get going the, uh, the relationships there. Um, and they'll see a lot of similarities and then some of those, those differences. 